This is score priority. You can see the chart in the center of the application. To change the symbol on the chart, just click in the header and change the symbol or click on something in the watch list or the positions. On the right side, you can see the market data section, which shows the current bid ask and the day's range, along with some other data points. The order book shows you top of book information for that security across multiple exchanges. Down below, you'll see the portfolio, that's your positions, the orders, those are live orders, and the trades, which are executed orders. If you want to expand the section, you can click the expansion arrow or collapse that back again. These disclosure arrows will give you even more room to look at the chart. So you can remove that other data. On the left side, you have the watch list where you can show recent symbols or create your own watch list. There's a sector tool where you can select a sector and see how stocks are doing in that sector. A screener tool where you can use predefined screens or create your own screens. An alerts tab where you can see your current alerts. To set up an alert, you just click this bell icon and fill out this form. Notices where you can see which alerts have fired, what orders have been placed, or what orders have executed, and a section where you can see news, that's general market news. You can click on new order to place an order. You can place a market limit, a conditional order, or an OCO exit, which lets you place stop loss and take profit orders at the same time. And if a stock has options, you can click on the option chain and see the option data for that stock.